Hey guys, it's Josie here with uh, Dan and Debbie's Creamery and Take Us Dairy Farms, and I'm here with our weekly update. I'd love to just show you around our new barn, kind of talk through some of the things that we have here and um, show you all of the exciting pieces that we have in place here at our new facility. On a normal morning here at the farm, we come out to the computer and kind of look over some data. So all of the data is given to us from the robots themselves based on what the cow is giving and it also comes from the necklaces that each cow in the barn gives. So I'm going to come out here in the morning and I'm going to first look at my fetch list. So I want to see how many cows I need to go out and get through the robot. So right now you'll see I have seven on my fetch list so I can go ahead and print that report really easily and take it out to the barn with me to find those cows. One other report that I pay close attention to is my health report. Um, any cows that show up on my health report may be feeling under the weather and so I wanna look at them and make sure that they're doing okay. So I also print that report and take that out to the barn so I can check out those cows as well. All right guys, let's head out to the robot barn. So we have two here in our uh, robotic milking barn. Um, this is robot one. Um, as you can see, we are just getting done milking the cow. So the arm is cleaning itself and then the cow will exit here and a new one will come in. So a few things that we have here in our robot room is um, part of the robot here, the arm. Um, this is where the milk is stored and where all the equipment is housed. Um, and when we have a new cow in our barn giving colostrum that we want separated, we put it to our M for use bucket. And so we worked with a local guy to, to make this. And so this is our M for use bucket um, that also gets washed when the machine gets washed. So um, the milk comes in here. Um, it's dispersed down here. It's got a, a lid here so you can see what's in it. this little opening so that way there's never a chance for backflow. Then we also have some an air return that, that shoots out air and keeps fresh air flowing through the robot room which is really nice. It um, keeps the air fresh and, and it also warms it up in here. All right let's go ahead and head back over to the vector area where the feed kitchen is. So as you can see behind me we still have some construction going on so one really I guess special thing about our barn is the blood, sweat, and tears that my parents and my brothers have put into this barn. They're doing a lot of this stuff themselves. So any fence or gates that you see in here, my dad and brother have welded themselves. So we've got a few more gates to, to go. Um, so we've got their welding equipment here behind me that they're gonna wrap up. But we've tried to incorporate some really great gating features to make sorting cows and herding them really easy. So when we designed this barn, we put our robots centrally located in the middle of the barn so that way we can access both sides of the robots. So on one far side, you'll see our main herd. And then over here, you'll be able to see our maternity pen, which is the pen for expecting mothers. And we also have a pen for close-up cows. So those close-up cows are cows that we're able to train the weeks leading up to her joining um, the rest of the herd in the barn. And then behind on the other side we have a special needs pen this special needs pen is really just a space to care for animals that may have an injury or aren't feeling well um, they can still access the robots to milk because that's very important for them but they have a different space where they can spread out a little bit um, and we can keep close uh close attention to them so one of the reasons we wanted a close-up pen for expecting mothers um, to also have access to the robots and so that way we can train each cow um, and spend days leading up to their uh, due date pushing them through the robot making sure they get comfortable so that way they're not so scared to go in um, after they calve for the first time. So that's this space now let's head over to the milk house. All right so here connected to our robot barn is our heifer barn so this is where we raise the heifers prior to them calving. Um, so they'll live in this barn, kind of get acquainted with um, people again, get acquainted with the space, um, and we can keep a 
better, closer eye on them as they get ready to have babies. So being able to start in a new barn with a new construction, we've been able to incorporate some really great things. So right along this feed alley, you'll see a white um, paint on here. It's actually epoxy and the smooth texture that it creates encourages the cows to eat more. It doesn't hurt their tongues as much. So you can see it's very soft and smooth. Um, so it's great for the cows to come and they can lick up every little last piece of feed. So one other thing I wanted to share was the difference in feed. Here with our close-up cows, we're able to feed them a different ration than the cows in our milk herd. So you'll notice a difference in the texture of the feed um, and we're able to really um, pinpoint exactly what we want each cow to eat. So let's head down to the other feed alley and I'll show you the, the milking cows mixture. Now we're over here with the milking cows. And so you'll see, again, they still have this smooth surface, but they've got a little bit different looking feed. So the vector that we use is able to mix whatever ration we want. So we can differentiate our dry cows, our close-up cows, and our milking cows and what they're eating. Now let's head to the vector. All right, now we're at the feed kitchen. So this is where we stock all of the different ingredients that go into our cow's ration. Um, we've got a pantry essentially that we keep stocked with a bunch of different ingredients. And as long as we keep that stocked, the vector will mix it up. So behind me, you see the feed wagon. And then you'll also up above see the claw. And the claw is what grabs the different types of feed and puts it into the wagon. So come on back, I wanna show you the feed pantry area so you can see the different ingredients that we put into our herd's ration. So behind me, you'll see different haylage, uh, corn silage and stuff. That's what the claw has to grab. We also put mineral mixes, roasted corn, roasted soybeans. Um, and I'll show you those here in a little bit, but um, super important to be careful around here because there are um, robots in use and in motion all the time. And so um, we've got to make sure safety first around here on the farm. And as we head out, I just want to point out our mineral bins. So again, vitamins and minerals are super important for the cows. We want to keep them happy and healthy. And so these are different things that are added to their feed uh, to keep them healthy. So let's head back out into the barn. All right, so we're here along the feed alley, and one of the things that was really important with our barn design was that we really implement the free cow traffic. And so we want our cows to be able to do what they want when they want, whether that be eating, drinking, um, sleeping, or being milked. And so we decided to do away with the um, neck rails or head gates and just allow the cows to come and eat as they please and really just to try to promote um, a healthy lifestyle with full mobility. Um, we also were really cognizant in um, our barn design because we wanted our cows to get basically the maximum comfort level as possible. So the, the robots being centralized, um, we're really able to give the cows um, sort of a little bit of time away from, uh, away from humans and, and comfort in the barn. And by the way, the vector's doing its job while we're, we're taking our tour. It's feeding the cows um, when normally somebody would have to be dedicated to mixing up that batch of feed and feeding it. So it's really nice to just know that things are happening while you're able to do some other things that you want. But here in the barn, we've noticed a tremendous amount of progress since having started. We're now six weeks in and um, each day we notice changes, but the really cool thing is that every week that passes, our cows progress more and more. So our fetch lists become less and less. The cows get more and more comfortable and they grow and they learn um, how to utilize this barn to its full capacity. So that's been really, really great. I'll be curious to see what six months looks like and, and what a year looks like into this. But I'm really excited um, that we're six weeks under our belt and um, we're already able to see changes. All right, let's head into the milk house. So this is our milk house. This is where the milk is stored until the milkman comes to pick it up. So we have a 3,000 um, gallon tank here um, that is basically just keeping the milk that the robots have been milking from the cows um, cold and at temperature until it gets hauled away to the, the creamery to be made into product. So one really cool feature um, that we implemented here at our um, in our milk house is this sight glass. So right now it's running a wash system, so you see water going through this. 
But when the cows are milking, you'll see this almost continuously white, which means that it's doing its job. The milk is constantly flowing. Um, and it's just kind of a reminder that the robots work around the clock, and um, it's really cool to see. So here in the next couple of days, um, we'll be keeping this milk cold, but the milk will uh, head off on a truck to the creamery and be made into cheese curds, ice cream, and be bottled into milk for Santa.